All right, sub friends, it's Harrison here, and today we're gonna be talking about lamenting over a childhood. So I thought that this would be kind of a cool video to kind of look back on too. Like it's not as, it's, it's again, it's not as positive as like my regular stuff. I think it's valuable to talk about this because I'm sure that a lot of other trans people feel like this that didn't have the opportunity to transition when they were young. So I started transitioning when I was 24 years old. I started testosterone when I was 24, got top surgery when I was 25. So I missed out on a whole childhood of being viewed as who I wanted to be viewed as and living in a body that aligned with who I was. I had to experience growing up female and being conditioned female when you're like 10 and below. You don't really think about it. It doesn't really matter. I just think about more high school and more like puberty because that's when things started to get really bad for me. That's when things started to feel very foreign and I started to feel very wrong it was around puberty when I started to have get my period like grow breasts and I went to an all girls school so I didn't really know any differences in like how boys were treated and how girls were treated. I didn't have many boys in my life so I always felt like I was just being treated the way that I need to be treated. And I was always an athlete, I was always athletic and I was always always more of the masculine one in my friend group. So that really didn't bother me. It was when I started to move to a co-ed school and I started to see the segregation of genders. It was like I was like, this is not where I want to be. Like, I would always be so jealous of like guys that they could cut their hair, that they could wear a uh, hair product, that they could wear like Axe body spray. Like, I was always so jealous that of boys that had Axe body spray in their lockers and could just put it on. I always felt like I wish that I could dress like them. I wish that I could wear my hair like them. I wish I could be carefree and, but I'm not. I have to kind of be uncomfortable. I feel like if I was born in the right body, I would have had a lot of an easier time, of course. Like I wouldn't be LGBTQ, I would be a heterosexual white male that played hockey. And growing up in Canada, like that's pretty much like top of the echelon, I guess, like in you, with the pecking order of school, like an athletic white male, obviously, and hockey, like hockey is like the biggest thing in Canada. So I think about, I just kind of think about how my experience would have been different. Like I was never popular in school. I had friends, but they're mostly like my athletic friends. And I always felt very much an outcast in school. I moved schools a lot. It was hard for me to get a friend group and I always felt like a little bit lonely and I always felt misunderstood. And I just think back to what my life would be like if I was a boy, if I was born a boy. If my hockey career, like I, I was a top level, female hockey player and if I would have had that switched over to the male side and had my life just just the only thing changed was that I was born a male I would probably be in the NHL and making a lot of money and having a different lifestyle and my college career would have been different my high school career would have been different people would have come to my games people would have respected me more than they did when I was younger and I just think back to high school and it just makes me sad like whenever I watch like a TV show of like a high school setting and it makes me sad like just kind of watching and kind of reliving that and feeling the fear of dating and putting myself out there because I was a girl and I would think it'd be so much easier if I could just be a boy. I could ask this girl out that I like and I wouldn't have to feel shame because I felt ashamed. I felt ashamed of who I was. It was really ingrained in me that what my lifestyle was wrong and that was just because I was gay and I would think it'd be so much easier if I was just a boy because I could still be attracted to girls and it would just be seen as normal and I'm not saying that this is like the right way like of viewing I'm just saying that when I was younger that's how the world was that's how I was conditioned to think by my family that's how I was conditioned to think by my schools like it just like society everything just made me ashamed I just think I missed out on a proper childhood I feel like I missed out on a lot of things because I was transgender and because I was in the closet it makes me sad for myself like I I wore a dress to my high school prom I wasn't allowed to bring my girlfriend to my high school prom because I wasn't a lot and I was scared. I was scared too so I didn't get to share that moment with my significant other and 
if I was straight, if I, or if I was born a male, I wouldn't have to think twice about bringing my partner to my high school prom. It's just the rite of passage. And I just think like all the girlfriends that I've had, all the crushes that I've had, I was never able to talk about that, like with my dad or my family. Like I never was like, no one asked me, oh, do you have any girls? Like how, how are the ladies? Like no one treated me like they did like boys. Like I never got a slap on the back when I lost my virginity. I never had a sex talk or anything like that. And when I had my first girlfriend, it was never like, oh my gosh, like we love her. Like we can't wait for her to take care of our son. Like it was never like a, it's never a celebration. It was always kind of a somber thing whenever I would bring somebody home. It's sad. It's sad to think that I didn't get to experience that. And I know that lots of people have it a lot worse, but I think about that sometimes. And now that I'm starting to transition and I'm starting to kind of hear my voice drop, I'm starting to just feel more confident and go through puberty the way that I should have back then. I just wish it would have happened sooner. Or I wish that I didn't have to go through it the way that I did. I just think about that. I think about high school, I think about college, I think like about that nobody would come watch the girls games in college, but everybody would go watch the boys games in college. And if you were uh, on the hockey team, the male hockey team in college, like you were really like seen as something greater than you were because people cared more about the men's sports and the men's team got a lot of more funding and got a lot more equipment, got a lot more perks than we did. And it made me very jealous and it made me very annoyed thinking like I would have that if I was born in the body that I should have been born in. And like seeing like dra hockey drafts and stuff like that. Like I made the, I made my under 18 team Canada team. I was, I was one of the top 12 forwards in my country of my age group. And if I was born a male and I had that same skill level, I would be drafted like in the first round of the NHL and like that's crazy to think that my life would be totally different I wouldn't have to look for a job right now I could be just playing hockey and I wouldn't have had to give up my sport at 24 I would just be kind of just starting my career pretty much it makes me sad because I the hockey's all I know and I wish that I could make I could have made a career out of that I wish I could have made millions of dollars with it I sound bitter and I I, I, I am a little bit bitter about it but like it's just I know it's something that I can't change but it's just something that people don't really necessarily think of. Like, if you're born in the right body, you don't have to think about a lost childhood because you had your childhood that you wanted. I didn't. And I can never get that back. Now that I'm growing up, like, it's just, it's just, like, hard to look back on, on things and think about all the time that I lost. Like, yes, I had some really great experiences and my life is great and I have a lot to be thankful for, but like, it's just, I think about this sometimes and it makes me sad. I, I went to my high school the other day and I had to leave. Like, I just couldn't be there anymore because I would see like boys walking around the campus or I would like look at the hockey pictures of like the boys and I would just be really, un really angry inside and jealous. And I wish that I didn't feel like that, but I do. And yeah, so I just like lament over a lost childhood and that my rite of passages, my rites of passage, I don't know. My rites of passage weren't celebrated the way that they should have been or the way that they would have been if I was born a boy. I can't change it. I gotta let it go, but I'm angry. I'm angry about it. So yeah, I just want to be raw and open with you guys and talk about the good times, talk about the bad times, talk about real stuff and just know that life's not always like sunshine and rainbows, but it's okay. It's not always going to be.